Hi guys, welcome. Let's get to talk about dynamic surfaces from the Android Material Designs, which could be used to create a compelling and intuitive details page for your application. We'll be applying these on the movies uh, app details page, which has some lapses. If you notice, when you scroll through the details, the image gets stuck and the flow is not coherent. As well, the trailer list has been cardified. A lot of CAD uh, implementation has been used uh, extensively, which uh, is not actually needed. In this tutorial, we'll be fixing all this and we're actually going to be using the dynamic surfaces principles uh, from the Android material designs. So let's get started. We used to have the, the, the details page like this earlier and uh, we're actually going to uh, make a fix. In here, we have some unnecessary implementation. For example, we are pointing out to a different layout that has some bunch of um, details which uh, when not needed. For example, we have to go through another relative layout, a linear layout, and so on. And right there, we are not actually using the scroll view extensively, and which we're actually going to be doing right there in this uh, tutorial. So I will actually head straight to the implementation where we have it uh, set up this way. In the activity detail of the movie apps, can get the source code from this link. We have it set up. The first parent is the coordinator layout. It has a layout with an ID of match parent with an ID of main content. An app bar follows, which is the from the support design widget, the app bar layout. This is actually going to wrap around the picture, or let's call it uh, the poster of the particular movie. And we are making it uh, to actually get uh, the right proportion when it comes to the pixels of the image. That's why we are setting the layout height to 500 dp, while the width will match the parent. A background color of primary, which is uh, the blue color. Right there in the app bar layout, we have the collapsing toolbar layout. This is actually going to handle uh, the parallax effect and so on. I send an ID called collapsing toolbar. It has a match parent respectively for the width and height. In here we have the collapse title text appearance. So this is actually going to uh, uh, mimic uh, let's say the movie name. So this is actually calling from the style out of the box from Android the Acron Parts widget action bar tied to inverse. So we are going to have a text uh, which is actually going to be the movie name. So you can actually see it right there called movie app. It also have an expanded tie to like text appearance. So this is actually going to uh, collapse when you scroll up and it gets stuck to the toolbar right there on top. But once it's been draw down it's actually going to uh, disappear and uh, you get it uh, right there below the picture. It also has the expanded title to margin start 72 dp. So we're going to have uh, a kind of uh, static height for the toolbar once it's uh, actually been uh, collapsed. Right there, we have the image view, uh, which wraps around with the parent with night and the collapse mode is parallax so it's actually going to have a parallax effect so when you're scrolling uh, it's actually going to be like uh, a, a paper layer right there on top of the image so you're actually going to see how it's going to flow and the scale type center crop very important now we have the tool by itself uh, which uh, 
as the width and height or match parent with the action bar size for the height a specific action bar size uh, is being uh, stated there which calls on the style the action bar right from the theme overlay app compact dark action bar we set up a navigation icon uh, this is actually from the drawable it's a vector asset from the drawable called the the arrow left so it's a vector drawable uh, which uh, is actually uh, very cool and it resizes to different uh, screen size that's fine back to the activity detail now that set up the collapsing toolbar and the upper layout so you have the closing collapsing toolbar and the upper layout which uh, is quite simple for us to have the other details of the movies like uh, the rating the plot synopsis uh, the date of a uh, publish of the particular movie or let's call it the release date uh, we wrap that around the nested scroll view this act of the box from the Android support designs uh, I'm actually using the 25.3.1 version uh, and the nested scroll view is quite cool and there is a layout behavior I want you to look closely you can actually use this with the scroll view as well uh, calling from the ABBA scrolling view behavior out of the box as well the layout height and the weight match parent and wrap content for us to use a scroll view with uh, different child uh, views you will need to wrap that around either a relative layout or a linear layout because a scroll view only uh, gives room for just one child view so we are actually going to use uh, we're talking about more than one child view here so you have to wrap that around a relative or a linear layout we are for a relative layout because we need to place some item side by side the orientation is vertical layout with tonight match parent why the height is wrap content now we can easily uh, declare our views without modeling it up or pointing out to another layout firstly the material favorite the favorite button uh, that actually has the uh, favorite icon we have that set up we also have the text view for the user rating if you notice uh, the user rating text view is actually sitting to the right of the favorite button which you have it set up this way to the right so it's actually going to float to the right of the favorite button so that's how we have it side by side you can only do that with the help of the relative layout the linear layout won't actually make that work it's actually going to stack views uh, beneath each other here follows the release date text view that actually displays the release date we have for the plot synopsis like the description of the particular movie and uh, we have a thumbnail URL we actually use this view is presently invisible or the visibility is gone but we actually use it right there in the uh, application the same thing for the trailer now we're going to have the recycler view that actually displayed uh, the trailer uh, which uh, we're going to attach a list item to this particular recycler view and it sits below the plot synopsis so you have that set up a closing relative layout a closing nested scroll view and a closing coordinator layout which actually actually going to coordinate this uh, kind of complex view so we have it more simpler than we used to have earlier and I uh, will actually show you the trailer in which uh, we need to take away the trailer card or uh, it's been cardified when you say cardify uh, a lot of cards are being used uh, sometimes uh, it's actually going to take away uh, the connection between the, uh, the user or let's say the viewer with what uh, it's actually uh, depicted so we have to take away the card view completely from this uh, view just have it simple just like an item or a list item which uh, you can easily uh, add some decoration probably lines to depict different uh, uh, view but with this it's fine 
just have the card view taken away and we have it simpler with a relative layout that houses the image view with the text view. The image view is the YouTube icon while the text view is the, the title of that particular trailer. So you have that setup. From here, let's look at the detail activity. And the detail activity, we only need to uh, call on the toolbar, fine. We have that set up earlier, but by we set the display home as app enabled to true so that we can easily have a back uh, button displayed and working. Uh, if you notice, uh, we call an intent right there to actually display the content we needed to the view. And uh, over here, we need to call the collapsing toolbar. What about we call the ID, which is the ID we assigned to the collapsing uh, toolbar layout. And you set the title to, to the movie name. So we just don't need to replicate the movie name anymore since we're going to have it stuck right there at the toolbar. And one drone, we have it below uh, the picture. That's fine. So we actually don't need any logic anymore to uh, initialize collapsing toolbar so we can easily take this out uh, whereby we get to check for the offset add on offset change list now we don't need that uh, the collapsing toolbar library is actually going to handle uh, the scrolling out of the box and nested scroll view actually made that uh, work as well so that it's actually going to know when to expand uh, the collapsing and when to uh, contract as well so I can easily delete this out. We don't need this implementation anymore. And uh, we have that simple. And uh, we can easily run the application and test that out. So with this, you can uh, actually integrate uh, the dynamic surface from the Android Material Designs to any detail page that uh, needs uh, the collapsing to Valley layout implementation. But you need to display picture, you need to uh, assign the nested scroll view. Uh, you need to stock uh, the title of the particular detail to the toolbar. At the same time, make it disappear when you are scrolling through the picture. You know, you can do a lot of uh, UI uh, implementation with this uh, out of the box. So I'll actually be uploading the source code as a branch uh, called the revised details page. So we can actually uh, get that. Uh, uh, attached to our detail page and use it in the course of developing beautiful applications and I'll be showing you a screencast of how this looks now we can see that it's going to be more uh, appealing to the eyes and uh, more beautiful so don't go anywhere here we go with the application uh, right there in the Android emulator using the Nexus 5X API 21 we have the set out, uh, the grids are perfectly displayed. And let's get to click and see where we get uh, right there. Cool. Can you see uh, the full picture, uh, the title of the movie, Avatar? And when we're trying to scroll to see more details, let's get to see. Can you see how the scrolling takes effect with uh, the picture? So a parallax effect is actually happening. If you notice, the picture is a, a kind of underlay. Uh, the list item now and you can easily scroll through and have that stock to the toolbar so you have the title stock to the toolbar once we are scrolling down as well we don't need to drag from the toolbar you can just still drag from the same uh, details and we have it uh, this big this is quite more appealing and uh, it's a better user experience let's get to look at other movies uh, baby driver we have that set up, uh, the user rating. We can uh, scroll up and get to see more details. And if you notice the card, uh, the trailers, uh, it's uh, the cards have disappeared and it's even better this way. Uh, you can easily see uh, the title and uh, you can easily click on an image uh, more better than uh, before when it has been uh, codified. Uh, this we don't have a YouTube uh, application, so it's actually going to communicate with uh, the web. So you can have that display the official trailer of uh, the baby. Uh, so you have that. You can easily go back to the app, the baby driver. Can you see that? So this is 
much more better than what we had before. So I will implore you to get your hands on the source code, which I also uh, be committing to the branch, and uh, I'll be sharing the link with you. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can actually use this in any application whatsoever that yeah, you feel like. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout uh, this tutorial. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.